Hey guys, my name's Rob. I'm the CEO of Giraffe and one of the founders. And I want to give you a demo of the platform for architects, which is what I used to work as. So I was an associate at a firm here in Sydney. And so much of my work there informed the way that we designed and built Giraffe. Starting with this, when you sign into Giraffe, you see a picture of the city, you see its architects, its architecture, its buildings, its form, you see your projects. You don't see a gray environment, like the gray nothingness, and then have to import like a little cube of city for you to work in. It's just there. Um, and you can fly around it and I can point to the buildings that I've worked on and the projects that I've done or gossip about what other people are doing and share information as soon as we get a call from a client. And so let's actually get a call from a client. So let's pretend that we're going to have to look at this site over here. So we're going to save a project. Now in Giraffe, when you save a project, all you do is put it on the map um, with a name, obviously, but you can also put some other information on it. Um, but when it's on the map, you can start bringing in deeper understanding via GIS layers, which often sound scary. GIS, that sounds technical, but all it is is the digital mapping normally provided for by the government. So whether you're in Brazil or America or Canada or Australia, there is or there are public digital maps of zoning, of parcels, of contours, of flood that help inform your design. And just build a build a, an understanding of those data layers in your market, in your city. It's a fantastic investment of time and it enables you to engage a, a site and understand it contextually very deeply and communicate it very clearly to your client very quickly. So here I've pulled in the zoning and the parcels and look, I've missed the, um, the site. So I'm just going to edit the project boundary and just slide it over to where it should be. And I know, you know, like, do you own that bit of the site or do you own that bit? Oh, let's do that because we'll take the whole thing. Um, and so now we've got a picture of this city. We've got a contextual understanding. We can see where the views are. We can see where the water is. We can see all these sorts of things. Now let's start diagramming. And this again is really natural for architects, normally in yellow trace. Normally this whole process that I'm talking about here is happening. There's sort of Google maps up on the screen. Everyone's sitting around a table flying around, someone's someone's looking at the local the government website to try and figure out the zoning. Uh, and giraffe is and someone's scribbling on yellow trace and asking questions like, how, how long is that city? Is that you know, is that site? Is there a measuring tool? What can we do about that? Um, what's the area? All that sort of stuff. Whereas in giraffe, that's just kind of happening. It's just kind of happening and it's looking good. Um, like look at these trees. We don't like the look of those. We're going to turn those off. And we may as well turn off all these labels because we're now sort of moving into a diagrammatic phase. And we spend so much time in Giraffe, and I'm already starting to sort of have ideas here about breaking this site down into subsites. We spend so long diagramming or on graphics in Giraffe because graphics are so important, because the clarity of your thinking, and my thinking here is let's divide this site up into three sort of smaller sites and then deal with them each separately to match kind of the scale over here. This is really long, but you know, the kind of uh, 180 meters is too long. Let's do three times 60. To communicate that clearly is critical to the job. And basically that's like, it's not the base of the pyramid. The base of the pyramid is a deep contextual understanding of the site, but clear analysis of the site and what to do with it is the next level on the pyramid. And the next level on the pyramid is actually some 3D modeling, some built form. So I can draw a rectangle like this and I can see the floor plate over there and I can see the depth and I can see the length and I can articulate this rectangle if I want to, if I want to break that up. I actually don't want to break it up on the streets, the streetscape. I like a flat streetscape, but I will wrap it around like this, break it up on the inside. And now I can apply a usage called residential and it'll pop up. And so much happens in the blink of an eye is that is rendered as 3D. And again, nicely, beautifully. Let me move the sun around to the morning so it looks even clearer. Um, but also all the numbers are done. The GBA, the GFA, the, the number of dwellings, the mix, the efficiencies. And it's all controlled from these assumptions. And so the process, the normal process, which you've got your yellow trace, you've done this meeting, you've spent an hour, you've scribbled some options, you go back to the office or you, you hand it to an associate or a junior, they kind of cad it up 
then they export it to Excel. They fiddle around with it. They dump it into a PDF. The PDF goes to the client. The client says, oh, well, what's the efficiency? Are you guys including balconies or not? And in Giraffe, that's all done. So we can say this is 82, whatever we want. And we can also change things like the color at this usage level. And that, that change propagates through the entire model, through all the numbers. It's all done. Now, you may show the client this. You may not. Um, and so because it's all done, we can actually explore options. Like I can sort of step that down towards this um, center here, or we can leave it up, but we can break this up. And so we're thinking now we're, we're playing and the computer is supporting us in that play. It's not, it's not doing the thinking for us. Like a lot of the, the AI platforms like, oh, it'll do it for you. It'll, you know, it'll design for you. And you're like, well, okay. So what about, what do I do then? <laughs> Whereas giraffe, it doesn't do much except the boring stuff. And if you're silly, if you draw a big lump of residential and say, hey, well, we'll just cram that full of people, you know, the middle ones will never see the light of day. Giraffe just uncomplainingly works out that area. So it really is a platform that re relies on human intelligence. Um, let's do some retail over here. And my concept here, maybe, maybe my first concept is let's put a, let's put something in the middle of this site, like a little pocket park that's going to bring people to it and let them dwell and keep them here and they'll spend money so the retail people will be happy but it'll be a little a cool little secret part of the city where people will come um, and hang out and so you can see giraffes got all these little tools around urban elements to help us do this uh, and so i'm just gonna muck around with these kind of and maybe that's wrong. Maybe that doesn't give enough. Um, maybe that doesn't give enough space. It's too pathy. So I'll just union those back together. There we go. That's a nice bit of park. 800 square meters. That's That can be really lovely. And then over here, I guess we can do some, uh, some retail. Again, I'm just going to slice something. And you can see how much effort we've put to make it quick. Like, see how quickly I'm working. And people always go, oh, you're quick, but I won't be quick. Like, I'm going to take ages. And I think that's not true. I think the giraffe is just a polygon editing tool. And architects are already very, very good at dealing with CAD and SketchUp. Very technical. And giraffe giraffe is, at, at its base, the same kind of technical tool. So you'll pick it up very quickly. If you use shortcuts in anything, if you use the space bar for commands in CAD or in Rhino, giraffe will make total sense to you all right now i'm going to put a commercial building over here and look my breakdown my resi my retail my commercial it's all happening and if i want to change the color or the any of the assumptions on that commercial i can do that and now i've got a beautiful scheme basically this is my first scheme and I'm, we're nine minutes in and i've been yakking away here so i'll put on a little icon so that people see that that's the heart, maybe make that a slight bit bigger. I can change that icon. I could upload something else. I feel like maybe that's too big. There we go. Perfect. And I reckon I could screenshot this, or maybe I could change the view options and sort of do this silhouette. And I could send that to a client and screenshot this, and that is a great result. And again, $45 is 20 minutes of build billable time. Even if I don't, even if I export this now into SketchUp or into um, DXF and I take it into Revit and then we refine it, that's still a great use of time. But let's do another option, right? So this is option one. It's going to be option two. And so what I'll do is I'll select everything and copy it and then I will turn off the default option and paste it all onto option two. And... Now I will shrink this down. Let's say this is a pure resi option. Pure res. And I'm not I'm not even scratching the surface of giraffe's capability. We've got all these algorithms and all this stuff that we can do to to make things even faster. But I don't want to show those. So I'm gonna so I'm gonna delete my little orange guy here. He's confusing me. I'm gonna use the eyedropper to pick up that building. I'm going to do this and this 
I'm going to slice that and just break that down. And now I think conceptually we should be able to fit another bit like this. Now, because these are single loaded, they're only 14 meters. So maybe if we pull them apart somewhat. And so this is going to be like green in here. I'll just overlap it like this. Hit Y. Go. How good is that? And now what I'm going to do, just because of the sun, if we go to winter, you see this is over overshadowing that. And so I've I've already sort of kind of intuited that. And but now I can sort of show, hey, there's a logic to this to the north. We're stepping this stuff down. Turn the sun back on. And then do the same thing over here. 10 meters, that'll work. Something like this. And maybe maybe this is option two. And what I'll do now is I think we should slide retail under here anyway. So ground floor retail. Just one level up. And I'll I'll do the same thing over there. And you see this giraffe's got this stack order thing. So, you know, as you slide stuff under, it just stacks up can be incredibly frustrating, but if you're working quickly, it is incredibly awesome. There we go. Oh, actually, I'll show you something else. I can force stack this guy. Um, sorry, I'm in the way. Yeah, there we go. And now if I cut him out that, delete that bit. There we go. I've got a little rooftop guard there. I'll put myself back over there. Okay, so now I've got two options and we're 12 minutes in and I'm going to just use a template and group by layer. So now I've got my default option and my option two and it's breaking down my areas, my building footprints, my FSRs, my side areas. And again, I can export this thing now as CSV and put it into a report, take a couple of screenshots and I reckon, I reckon I've done a couple of hours worth of work, maybe even a day, and it's taken me 10 minutes. I haven't even used up the inception time. And so what I, what I found as an architect working is it's a, it's a more fluid way of working. It's more open. It's more collaborative. You don't have to always show you're working. Like sometimes ideas and designs take time to stew, to steep. Um, but just mucking around and, and auctioneering and thinking is, it's incredibly powerful in giraffe.